Hello everyone. Welcome to another video on Beckon protocol. If you have not seen the first video, I suggest checking that out first before jumping into this one. Link is in the description below. For this one, we will jump straight into different entities in Beckon and the roles they play in the ecosystem. Registry is the first piece of the puzzle. The role of the registry is to keep a track of who are the participants in the network. Now as a participant, you can act as a seller platform, a buyer platform or a gateway. In case of ONDC, the registry is managed by a not-for-profit body called ONDC that is governed by a board of directors. ONDC makes sure that the right participants join the network and comply by the rules of the network. In the example on the screen, Paytm, Tarka Labs and Amazon have registered as BAP, BPP and Gateway with the Beckon registry and registry keeps a track of all participants in a table-like structure. Let's move on. Till now, anyone willing to be a buyer or a seller has registered on the Beckon network. What next? Next comes the seller platform. So a seller is someone selling a product in a particular area or some aggregation platform like Paytm or Amazon, which is giving an option to the seller to put his product online. So given this is a tech platform, BPP will have its database where the inventory and catalog will be managed. But can BPP sell only on ONDC? No, BPP can sell on ONDC network or outside of the network. But in case of ONDC, how does the data which is there in the BPP's network or database reach ONDC network? As of now, registry only knows that BPP is a participant who is a seller. But does ONDC store the catalog or inventory in their system? If not, how does data magically appear for the buyers to consume given the buyer now is not coming directly to the seller's platform but going to a different platform called BAP? To understand this, let's now get into what a BAP is. BAP is a Beckon application platform or a buyer platform. Imagine it is a platform allowing people to buy products on the ONDC network. So the goal of BAP is to allow the buyer to buy a cake or a product from BPP, but the product is still in the seller's database. How does it reach the buyer? To connect the buyer and seller, we bring in the third component, a routing layer called Beckon Gateway. Now let's see how a transaction flow happens. A buyer will come to a BAP application with an aim to buy a cake. BAP is now scared. It does not have a cake to sell, but wait, BAP is a part of ONDC network. BAP thinks, let's send a request to the gateway, asking if the gateway knows where I can find a cake nearby. Basic requirement. BAP knows how to talk to the gateway due to the common language defined by the Beckon protocol. Now gateway is just a routing layer. It does not have a brain of its own. Gateway says, let me check with the registry on who is selling a cake nearby. Remember, everyone in the network is registered with the registry. From the registry, Gateway gets the address of the platforms who are selling cakes. Gateway will send an API request to all the platforms saying a certain BAP or a buyer platform is looking for a cake. Anyone interested to sell? Now Gateway has also shared the address of the BAP with BPP. From now on, BPP can talk directly to BAP, a peer-to-peer -peer communication. The first search request in the older version of Beckon was still routed via the gateway over to BAP, but in the newer versions, the BPP can talk directly to BAP without the need of the gateway. Now what happened? BAP asked if anyone is selling cakes on the network. BPP says, I am. BPP then sends the catalog or whatever BAP has requested for in a certain format, a Beckon decided format, so that BAP can understand. In the first search request response, BPP also sends the address to BAP. Now what? Both BAP and BPP know each other and they are trusted entities vetted by ONDC and given they have both implemented the Beckon protocol, they can now talk to each other and now backend gateway or registry is no longer required. This is similar to when the buyer asked the trusted friend 
about a shop in Japan and the language cheat code. Once he knows the shop, no longer it's required to go to the friend every time to ask. By implementing backend protocol, I mean each entity has exposed APIs for other entity to make transactions and ensure seamless communication. Now backend gateway, even though it was just a routing platform, can it use the data flowing through it? This is where the guidelines come in. Even though the backend gateway has data flowing through it, it cannot use or monetize that data. As a part of the initial search request, BPP will send over the catalog and inventory over to BAP and BAP can decide to cache the catalog and get the inventory on the fly every time. Given the store address or the digital entity address usually do not change, you do not have to go to the network via BG or registry every time, but BAP can talk to BPP directly. Beckon has defined the APIs for search, init, confirm, fulfillment and post fulfillment, which we will go through in details in the next videos. As far as ONDC is concerned, it only owns the registry with the address of all the network participants. And for now, Gateway is also managed by ONDC. No data is stored in the network at any point. Network is just referred to peer to peer data flow between a buyer and a seller. It has just defined a language to enable peer to peer communication. But given the way ONDC and Beckon has picked up, it shows the power of specifications. It has a potential to move from a platform based thinking to a decentralized thinking without any monopoly. The platforms can decide to focus on what they are good at instead of handling the entire value chain. But if you're coming from a technology background, Beckon is not lowering your time to market for an e-commerce application or an education platform. But once you set up something, your product will get to all the applications implementing Beckon protocol. In simple words, applications which are part of the registry and have implemented the required APIs. This is just a start and we at Tarka Labs are going to come up with more deep dive videos on how to actually implement Beckon APIs, how to become a part of the registry, how to talk to the gateway and how the communications between BAP and BPP happen. Wait, when we talk of decentralized networks, one thing always comes to our mind, blockchain. Does blockchain as a space in Beckon protocol? Is Beckon only for e-commerce? Can we use Beckon for education or agriculture problems? Who governs the rules for the Beckon participants? How does the payment flow in a Beckon network? Once you understand further, I'm sure you will have more and more questions. Throw your comments below on what topic you want to see the next video on. If you're doing something interesting with Beckon, ONDC or Honest or have any question, please do leave a comment below. I will see you next time. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.